What's going on everybody? It's Patrick with Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope you had a great Labor Day. I'm shooting this the day before Labor Day. But um, we're going to head to Cedars Lebanon State Park here in a little bit. We're going to hit um, Cedar Forest Road. Uh, go through the natural area. Because uh, I am testing out all the work that's been done to the Titan. Um, right down to the shocks in the rear and the struts in the front. Now, as I stated, I was uh, asking ideas. Um, I already had a general idea of what I was going to go with. And what I ended up going with was Bilstein 5100 um, shocks in the rear and Bilstein 5100 adjustable struts in the front. And they're adjustable from zero to two inch lift. And we did the two inch lift and leveled the truck. Okay, and I want to clarify something I said wrong in the video about the wheels and tires and everything on this truck. I did go back, and I'll throw it in now. I did go back with the same tire I had on it. I was really pleased with the performance I got out of it, the longevity I got out of it. We figured it up. I actually got almost 13,000 more miles out of those tires than what they were factory rated at. Um, which is, hey, uh, uh, yay. But the main thing was is I kept those things rotated and balanced. But I did go back with the Maxxis 771. I said 777s. They're 771 Bravo ATs, and that's all terrain. Um, but I did go back with that tire. Now, what I'm doing is, is I'm going down here to Cedar Forest Road. It's a fairly crappy road, gravel road. So this, and this is, you know, just had all this work done this week. So we're going to take it for a little spin, see how she does. Make sure everything's copacetic because if temperatures do right and start treating us right, well, we may start getting out here pretty soon for camping. Um, I'd love to get out sooner to get more camping in than um, we've been able to do the last couple of years. But uh, anyway, in exploring. But anyway, so I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get to Cedar Forest Road. About a yeah, 15 minute drive from where I'm at. So we'll see when I get there. So, good news is, the truck's riding really good. Bad news is, they have fixed the road. They have come through and fixed all the potholes that were in the road, all the major holes that were in the road. They're fixed. They're solid again. So, I don't guess I'm going to get to try what it's like to go in and out of holes um, the gates closed there's a couple of gates I wish one of these days I'm gonna go in but yeah all the all the serious well, there's there's that's pretty but there used to be some serious potholes through here and it has not rained here um, in the last couple days and it's been raining all around matter of fact it was raining coming this way as I was coming this way I, I have cars that were coming up and passing me that had been wet 
where they were wet, so they'd been through rain. Um, but I want to see if I fixed my dust issue in the bed of the truck here in a little bit. I forgot all about. I hadn't done anything about that, and then go up to land between the lakes a couple weeks ago, and um, well, it's pretty nasty back there. That's gated off today. If you look behind me, you can see the cloud of dust. Honestly, what few crevices I've run across, little, I say crevices, little potholes, um, it's taken them pretty well. Um, that's, I mean, they've done a lot to this. They've definitely graded it, and then they come through and widen it in places. And here, I'll turn you around so you can see. I don't have the dash cam in right now, but they have done a lot of work to this. This used to be really bad through here, and it's totally smooth-ish. Whatever kind of gravel that is, they put in there. This is a state natural area over here in certain spots and a lot of it you're running through it is it just you have to have a map on and be able to look and see but they've also got a lot locked off that you can't do anything with um, now I'm sure they've had their troubles over the years with people doing dumb stuff you know like we've talked about and they had to close it down yeah I've made it all the way through Usually it takes a good time to run through that. But I can also see that the other road on the other side is still closed off. That hasn't been open in quite some time. Which I don't understand why, but it's not. We're gonna turn around, we're gonna head back over and go over to the park itself and hang out there for a few minutes. And I'll show you what I did on the bed. We'll see if it's knocked down the dust that uh, it normally have, but I wish they would open that section back up over there. I wish they would. Anyway, move back a little bit. So one of the things I want to add while I'm out here, um, I was telling the wife earlier before I left the house, I don't look for us to have a really pretty fall. We've been so dry. Leaves are already falling because they're, the trees are shedding them because of lack of rain and water. So, and you'll see, I'll show you, through here, the leaves are just lining the roads and all the trees are all yellowed up. And that's because they just haven't had the water that they need to, you know, not have to shed their leaves and conserve. Um, it's gonna suck. I, I was hoping this fall that could take off and go down um, Natchez Trace Parkway um, and see some pretty colors, but I don't know how good it's going to be, to be honest. So, we'll just have to see. Alright, now I'm going to head over to the other part of the park and uh, get back to you over there. Well, things have kind of escalated. <laughs> Won't last long, but let's see. So we got this. <laughs> I was complaining about when you rain and lo and behold I got it. And I was just fixing the setup to show you something that I've done and I was like, yeah, now here comes the rain. But it's not gonna last long. We'll hang out for just a few minutes and let it do its thing and then we'll get out and take a look. Oh, I know what I could do. I could snap into a swim gym.
Well, it's not raining, but it's thundering like heck. Um, so we might be getting more for it's over with. But while it's not pouring ass rain now, do you hear that? Well, let me show you what I did to the bed of the truck. Um, found a kit on the jungle site that's made for um, closing off the, trying to keep the dust out of beds around the tailgate because that's always been the worst part. So far, it looks like it's doing great. But that's this stuff right here all the way around the tailgate and it looks like it's doing its thing because I wiped all this off yesterday and it didn't like it's any more dust than what was already back here but the way that sounds what's the saying thunder roars go indoors Y'all hearing it? I hear it. Um, but anyway, hopefully that'll knock down, keep my dust problem down in the bed of the truck. I forgot all about it um, when I went to, oh, I got you right. When I went to um, LBL a couple weeks ago, I forgot about the dusty roads and everything. And just going down that one, it was, I mean, it was bad. So, to see there's no more dust in it, I'm happy. It's back that way. It's doing all that thundering and booming and stuff. It looks kind of funky, but I think it's in the way from me. Unless there's more coming in from the east. I don't even know which direction I'm going in right now, to be honest with you. Hey Siri, pull up my compass. Okay, so that's west. That's the weather it's already. That's the weather it's already come through. So if there's any more to be coming from that direction. So I guess at this point we pull pull a end of the day. And call it good. I don't know. We may ride some more. I don't know. It's one thing to mess around this when it's raining, but thunder and lightning and stuff, I don't do. That's a good one. Anyway. Alright guys, um you know what? I'm going to call it it. Um, appreciate you watching. Um, hopefully you got, you know, something helpful out of this. Uh, recommendations on shocks. The Bilstein uh, 5100s. I leveled the front of the truck two inches. So now when you look at the side view of the truck, I'll post a picture now of that. Um, she's level. And doesn't have that big nose rake that Nissan throws on there or a lot of them to do on your two-wheel drive trucks um, and then tires got new tires they seem to be doing tire things um, and then I fixed the bed uh, hopefully that's gonna keep 95% of the dust out I'll be happy with that um, especially when on these back dirt gravel roads I don't know I've got a kind of an idea for a trip uh, southern half of Daniel Boone we'll see so I will talk to you in the next one uh, hit the thumbs up at like share and all that other good stuff and want to welcome all the new subscribers we've had a bunch we had like 50 almost in a week's time welcome to the channel there will be more see you in the next one be prepared